Hello everyone and welcome to this episode in the Skyrim Princess. I'm so glad you could join me. In the last episode, we found some clam meat and we, it turned out that the Billy Monk really liked it. And so we were able to bring the Reckling's uh, pet back to them. But then the chief wanted us to find red grass and to bring him back 10 scrath crawls to him. So as we were trying to find 10 of those, we found a mysterious village and no one seems to be home except for the, the kid by the walrus and then the three guys trying to stop a tornado. So let's see what happens in this episode and if we can't find the scrath crawl, we might just go back to find the power or the source of power of Myriad. So let's go. Let's see what happens. <laughs> And Barbus is right there. Miko's just watching them. Ready, Stimmar? Oh, excuse me. Ah. Huh? Ready? Lead on then. Alright. Well, since they're busy with that, we should probably head on. Like Stimmar said. Let's see where the map where we are on the map. Interesting. I wonder what that is. Hmm. Let's keep going further. I don't think we're actually going to Myriac, but we the red the red grass might be over here somewhere. What is that? Wait, did we go in a circle? Are we back where the walruses were? I think we are. <laughs> Maybe I should go up then. <laughs> Is this the red grass? Yes! One. Oh, that's it. Two. So now what I know what they look like. There's more over here. Oh, there's a lot. Three, four. Five. Six. Well, I wonder what they have to try. Is there any more? Oh, look! I've never seen like that. It's like the ocean and... Well, there's not really any sand, but there's the ocean. We got six of them. <gasps> Is that more? <gasps> yes! Seven. If I can get up here. Eight. There must be more. It's rough out here, but I'm getting by. Oh, hello! Not everyone was built for this kind of life. I'd be better off with some meat in my belly. But the air in Solstheim is almost as sweet. What brings you out here? We brought ourselves out here, oh. along with our shame. I just want to oh. What do you mean? We used to be proud warriors of Thirsk Mead Hall. There, up on the hill. But we let that sweet life get the better of us. We grew soft and... What happened? Reeklings. Those filthy vermin. They came in numbers. Waves of the things. One at a time. They're pests. But with this many. And so here we are. Out of our home. They're not so bad. What is Thirsk? Do you know of the Skull? Oh, I think it's the village to the north where I just came from. <laughs> a long time ago, a man named Hrothmund left the Skull to form his own tradition. Warriors in the wild, living like the Nords of old. They would hunt, they would fight, and the mightiest among them would rise up as leader. But those days are behind us now. Oh. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, thank you for letting me know, sir. It just came on so quickly. Sorry if I was hard on you before. You don't have to apologize oh. to me. Barbet. Just pull yourself out of this and let's find a home. Either here or up there. It doesn't matter to me. Bujol feels so guilty about what happened. Try not to provoke her. No, you won't. But I'll love you anyway. <laughs> oh, sorry. Just leave us, yeah. please. Are you gonna join us on the next hunt? Are you one of the warriors from Thirsk? That depends on who you ask. I fight, I protect the hall, I bring in meat. And I think I could take on most of the tree lovers up in the Skull Village. But because I'd rather drink a mug of meat at night instead of training until I drop, Kuvar calls me a layabout. Wish he would just lighten up. Ah. Oh. People seem pretty tense around here. You don't know the half of it. Bujo's just embarrassed, I think. Doesn't help that her husband is one of the loudest complainers. She's always been quick to shame. Uh, who's her husband? Kuvar. That's what I he figured. We've all gotten a little too soft. I can see what he means looking at Elmas, but the rest of us still have our edge. At least I think so. And don't tell Elmas I said that. <laughs> but thank you. See ya. Oh, okay. Hello. I don't really have time for this. Mm. <laughs> yes. This camp is small, but it's all we have left. What's going on here? What's going on here is that we've been kicked out of our home. Oh. The Mead Hall, up there on the hill. We were... Some Reeklings have taken it over. How are the Reeklings able to overpower you? With tenacity and numbers. Ah. It didn't help that we'd grown a little too comfortable up there. Too much Mead. Ah. Too many stories. <laughs> Too few battles. Okay. All right then. Yeah, I'm not ready to start a battle with the Ricklings. I'm trying to help them find the Scrocko. Do you have any more Scrocko? I need like two more. <gasps> there they are. Thank you very much. Because I need them. <laughs> ah, is that the same? Ah, I need one more then. <laughs> Wait. Yes. I think I have it. Oh. Yes. Not everyone was meant for this kind of life. There's no shame in that. I can handle it. Just excuse me. Please. Well, we have all ten of the red grass. I would help them, but I also am helping the Reekling, so it's sort of a... It's sort of not at the best time to help them at the moment. <laughs> Unless the Reeklings fight me. What is this? Oh, is this it? Yes. Hello everyone, hello. Yes. I wonder if I had found those warriors first, would I have helped them first or would I have helped the Reeklings? So I guess it's a good thing I found the Reeklings first. Hopefully, I have found the right thing. Hello, sir. Wonder, gather. I brought your scath crow. Good. Yeah. Yes. Later, we burn. Now, final task. Then, you prep give. A final task? What do we need now? Bad lords say, first, there's. Live by water, bother, tribe keep. We fight, you strong, you help. Oh you no, I just... Not. You want me to kill people, huh? <laughs> bad people, they come, fight us, we fight back now. This is your battle? Uh, I will 
I will talk to you about it later because I just told them I can't really help them because I was helping you guys, so... Yes. Well, I'll, I'll think about it. Because you, you both have to try to con I don't know. It's your sort of bad. Maybe you can live in peace. I... I don't know. They just... Y'all want a warm place to stay. You guys could help each other out. Ready, Barbara's? Yes. So, we're gonna go to Marriott now. I'll come back later, probably. Nice to meet you all. I can't just... They both asked me to sort of help in the battle, sort of, and I don't know if I should, because I don't know who is particularly right. Let me know in the comments, should I help one of them in the battle, and who should I help? Because that is very interesting. I don't know. Didn't know there was a battle between them. Good day, good day. So let's just go to Marriac, everyone. Now, Stenmar, I have to warn you. And Miko. Miko. It, they may ask you to leave, but I don't know. You could probably stay. I don't know. You and Miko can decide. Yes? Yes. If that's okay. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. I mean, you could stay. I mean, not sure. It's only 7.37 p.m. in Sultan. There are so many dragon bones. I wonder what happened. Here we go. Our hands once were idle. Now through them does he speak. Look at the look at the volcano. It's incredible. I'm gonna try to get over there. Whether it's possible or not. Possibly. But I I think I could try, I don't know. We'll see. Ah. I could have sworn I heard something right behind us. There's a lot of oh, no wonder I had trouble getting by. There's a lot of people standing by. Ah. And here we go. Once again. To uncover the mystery behind Myriac, the source of Myriac's power. What will happen? <laughs> Hello. Where are you going? You would leave now? We are back. We have yet to find what is at the heart of this. Here, you have to wait here, Miko, because I don't trust you. <laughs> oh, good. I want you to be safe. Alright, so we're ready to go. Are you ready, ma'am? You there. What brings you to this place? We're gonna find the Why source. Are you here? Okay. <laughs> are you ready to help me now? Yes. We should not delay. So where do we begin? Uh oh, I just stepped on it. No! There's Stenmar. Uh oh. No matter which way you go.
So we are back to where we began. Now where do we go? Where do we go, Barbus? Yes. I thought so. Interesting. Ah. Oh. Well. Oh no, I just took the I'll just drop it. <laughs> What is this? Nothing. Just a secret hiding spot. Excuse me, Stenbar. Oh! Yes? You are standing on top of a Draugr and looking down at it. Ooh. I need a... torch. My the cultist. Oh, another one. Interesting, interesting. As we search, oh, it's empty. <laughs> Taken alone, the Draugr aren't so fearsome. They're far more deadly in greater numbers. Yes, you are correct, Stenvar. At least they're not over here yet. take that because it didn't help him either. Must not be the best. Oh, this guy looks like he'll... Oh, he just had some coins. Interesting. Ooh. Hidden tunnel. Eh? Uh-oh, I hear somebody else. Wraith. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I could not see. Oh, I'm trying not to hit that lady. Oh, okay. Sorry. I, <laughs> I was looking in the wrong direction. Sorry about that, ma'am. The evil in this place must be rooted out. Yes. We must find I, out what is at work here. I agree. We should destroy the evil. Hey, what is this? Two. Six. And six. <gasps> Ooh. Three of them. That would be helpful. No. Ah! Hmm. 
What is that? Eh! Barbus! Fire salts. Interesting. Should we go further? Oh, hello! Ah! Okay, well, that worked. No! Ah! Barbus! No. Oh! I stepped on the button. I'm sorry, Barbus. Huh. No! Oh no! Careful! Oh no, another one. Oh no, I got a soldier. Sa oh, what happened? Uh oh. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Ah, Barbus. Sorry, sorry, Barbus. I'm so sorry. Did not mean to get Barbus. Oh. Well, this has been an interesting episode. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you watch the next episode where I reveal what the surprise is. May God bless you and keep smiling.